What's up guys, welcome to part 6 of this Tesla clone. We are almost done. So one of the things we have left is we need to be able to toggle the sidebar. Right now it's open and it's stuck open and we can't do anything about that. So let's go ahead and fix that. So we're going to go here and we're going to import uState and use the uState hook. We'll come in here into navbar. Let's go ahead and say const and we will say nav set nav oops equals use state and then what we're going to do is just set that to false by default and then we're going to create an arrow function so we can toggle this so we will say const and we'll call that handle handle nav and this will just be a arrow function. Then we want to say set nav to the opposite of nav. Perfect. Once we have that set up, we need to be able to toggle it. So there's a few spots where we want to toggle it. We want to be able to click the menu button. Um, we have the menu button when it's on mobile. When we make it larger for like desktop, we need to hit that menu and then this X icon. So we'll scroll down. Here is our first button. So we'll come in here and we'll say on click. And then we will uh, call, not set nav, we will call handle. Did it pop up? No, handle nav. Perfect. So when we click, calls handle nav, we'll set it to the opposite of nav so we'll come in here put it here and then one more where's our menu here it is so here's the li we'll just paste it in here as well oop command z let's paste that in there perfect and then what we want to do is create some logic to actually make this panel move off of the screen so we'll come in here let's see Let's come right here to the class. We'll do an open bracket. We'll come in here. We'll do a bracket here. And we'll say nav. And basically we're just doing a ternary operator. So look at the condition. If it's true, show this. Else we're gonna say fixed. Let's put it in quotes. We're gonna say fixed right and then we'll say negative 100 percent sweet let's go ahead and give that a try so now when we click on menu opens up click close sweet if we open it up all the way if we hit menu opens closes Woo -wee. sweet we did it guys we have an awesome clone. Let's just come in here. I just thought let's clean up our code. We'll right click and we'll say format document. Make that look nicer. And let's go ahead and get this hosted on Firebase. So come over here to Firebase, create an account. And once you create an account, we can say go to console. We're going to add a project. Let's call this Tesla clone YouTube um, sweet we don't need analytics we'll shut that off we'll say create project and this will set up our firebase project hopefully it doesn't take too long and yeah once you get this you put this on your github you know, have a nice little portfolio start cloning some more websites if these are helpful let me know I'll, I'll make some more it's been it's been fun to make these videos our new project is ready so we'll click continue and we will scroll down actually we'll go to all products scroll down to hosting we'll say get started and then we will run through these installation steps so we'll copy this, open up a new terminal with plus button. We can put that in there. 
We'll run that. npm install Firebase tools. And we'll say next. And then we'll do a Firebase login. So let's copy that. And we'll log in. I'm already logged in. Sweet. And then Firebase init. We'll copy that. Paste that in here. Enter. And then what you'll do, you'll use your arrow keys. We're going to scroll down to hosting and then you press space bar and then we'll hit enter. We're going to say use existing project. So hit enter on there. We'll go to the Tesla clone, enter. What do you want to use as your public directory? We'll say build all lowercase. Configure as a single page app. We're going to say yes. And then set up automatic builds. We're gonna say no at this time. And already exists. Overwrite, we'll say no. Sweet. So the Firebase initialization is complete. So next is to deploy. One thing, let's go back. If we go to where localhost is running, you can see for our production build, we need to run npm run build. So we'll get out of there and we will say npm run build. Sweet, creating an optimized production build. Done. We are so close. Let's go back. The final, final task, Firebase deploy. Let's launch this baby. We are deploying, deploy complete, hosting URL. Let's give it a click, open. There she is. You did it guys. We've completed the Tesla clone. If this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. This was fun. I'll, I'll do it again sometime. See you guys.